obviously I coach at a club, so I, you know I see a lot of club level players. And the main thing that I think about when watching and marking matches and coaching is, is people need to keep it more simple. Just simplify everything. Um, I know real tennis can seem crazy complicated, um, but when you're just starting out and and you're, you're relatively new, just try and get the ball over the net. You know, but people watch some of the top guys in the world. So you go out there and watch Camden and John and Rob and people hitting these amazing shots and targets and loads of cut. Be as simple as you can. Prevent, pre- present the racket face as square as you can to the ball um, and just not try to hit the ball too hard. But I think most club level players, if they just keep it simple and just keep control of the ball and keep their swing short, they'd be a better player. So I think that's the main thing for me. So just everything that I don't do, do that. Um, just, yeah, be simple. Just don't do too much. There's, there's, you can always do less. You know, the swing doesn't need to be big. You can, I mean, don't watch me play. Less is more, I'd say. I think there's a tendency to try too hard with it and then it all goes wrong. Battle away, keep getting the ball over and eventually your opponent will make that mistake for you. Record back, step in and block. Uh, get your record back way earlier than you think. That's what Mark Edel told me when I was very, very small. And I always remember when I'm first on court, I was like, oh, just put that racket back, step in and block. That's the only thing you need to do on a real tennis court. <laughs> Stay low, let the ball drop in front of you. You have way more time than you think. And uh, honestly, have fun. Like a golden ticket. I'll, I'll give you a golden ticket. If you're always aware of where your racket is, it will never be anywhere bad. Keep the ball in play. Most points are probably kind of ended on an error rather than a winner. Um, And it's a game of it's a game of who makes the least amount of errors at club level, not the amount of winners. So stop trying to win points and concentrate on not losing them. So just just keep keep the ball in play and kind of embrace the the weirdness and chaos of the, the rallies. This is kind of going against what I said earlier. But learning to hit the galleries when there's a chase. You don't need to do a lot of the ball. You just need to get it back. I know I say get rid of the galleries, but when there's a chase, the amount of times you see people like get an easy ball to go cross court to the hazard galleries and they just stick it down line to the tamer because they're so used to that, then, you know, unfortunately the galleries are there. So they, you know, should think about that a little bit more. I think there's no quick fix. So... If you're looking to change something in your game or looking to improve, it's not going to happen overnight, or very rarely does it happen overnight. And you just need to put the work in. Solo practice, yeah, that, will, that, will, that will make you improve the quickest. Get fit, get fit. Most of the hard work is done in the gym nowadays, not on the tennis court. And, in, and enjoy it. Don't be afraid, ask your pro what practices you can do on your own. It's brilliant, even after 30 minutes, even just half an hour, you'll improve fast. Watch yourself. Find what it is you need to work on and spend a decent amount of time on it. Yeah, I think you should treat uh, you know every tennis match the same, whether it's a practice match or the biggest tournament in your club, um, and try and treat winning and losing the same way as well. Don't get too high, don't get too low. Determination and perseverance. The game is tough. Just keep at it. You know. Just make sure you love the game. Um, I think you're going to win more matches than you lose if you go into it look thinking, you know what, I love this. This is what I want to do. Oh. Don't take it too seriously. It's, you know, even, I'm sure, even watching, you know, the best, uh, the best people in the world, you know, everyone makes mistakes in this game. It's, it's a tricky game. So don't take it too seriously. Just enjoy it. If you go out there and you're having a bad day and you're hating real tennis, it's just going to go wrong for you. I think if you go out there with a smile on your face, try and take positives and just think, you know what? I love everything about this game. I'm here to enjoy it. You'll probably do all right. I feel like real tennis is such a beautiful metaphor for life because you're going to have so many ups and downs. So many ups and downs in this game. So it's life. But the most important thing is to carry on.